Okay, this is a Seymour Cray, supercomputers, the man who literally is associated with anything called high-speed, high-capacity computing. He worked for a company called Control Data, and when he left to form his own company, Control Data thought so much of him that they gave him a complete factory that they had built for him, plus paid the salaries and uh, costs for his factory for one year. You see all the wires in the system. Cray didn't believe in slowing down the flow of electrons unless you had to. And a flow of electrons is how every single electronic device works, regardless of whether it's an iPod, a high definition TV, high definition radio. Cray often said that he was trained as an engineer and wound up as a plumber. Everything you see in this particular area is plumbing for the cooling of his computers. His designs ran so fast, so hot, conventional cooling could not cool his computers. He was asked why did he pay so much attention to design and color on his computers. He had a very practical answer. He said, I build a very expensive computer that sells to a very small audience. When you tell a decision maker that something is caught worth $10 million, it had better look like it's worth $10 million, even if it doesn't do anything. Now, Cray's next generation of computers ran even faster. His first generation computer was cool externally, cool air flowing across the circuits. His second generation computer, the circuits were immersed into the cooling liquid, something called Florida. But Florida was also a liquid bud used by heart surgeons working with artificial hearts. So a lot of us think it's a better story to say Cray's second generation computers were cooled by artificial blood. Now right next to it is an odd looking device. Over here. And this device is a pump. Doesn't look like a pump, but that's what it is. It pumped the floor inert, the liquid blood, in and out of the second generation computer, and it pumped it into this lucite tank. And the liquid would ebb and flow and pulse up and down, and many of the people who bought these machines put color wheels behind them or colored lights so that it would look exactly like a giant lava lamp. Third generation Cray, and really only one was ever built, 1993 versus 1946. 1946 was the ENIAC, the first ever digital computer. 1946 to 1993, the Cray 3 computer would take one second to do what it would have taken the ENIAC in 1946, 67 